Hey, so we are back for this wash day style, all the good stuff. I just wanted to pop in real quick so I can show y'all the beginning of the process. Of course, this won't be fully real time because as y'all can see, I have enough hair for me, you, and probably somebody else. Anywho, um, so it's worked, but I kept it like this. It is stretched out. It's not um too dry, like it's still soft. But at this point, it's completely dry at least. So I washed my hair on a Tuesday. Took the braids out on a Tuesday. And today is Friday. <laughs> I have to think about it. Okay. But it is out. So all I'm gonna do is literally start in the back, throw some two strand twists in here. I'll probably take down both of these back sections at the same time. Leave this part out of my way for now. Um and let's go through our products. I'm using my faithful, faithful, faithful favorite. My absolute favorite. This kid stuff is the best. I am using this as well. It's also my favorite. It's like my sealant, so liquid cream oil, you know. Hopefully y'all can see that. Can y'all see it? Okay. And I'm trying this. So it's supposed to be a soft definition um and it's like mid consistency so not light not heavy so we'll see but this is the product that i use to wash my hair in deep condition and leave in condition so we just want to you know try to use the product line and see how it goes thanks so much for watching leave me in the comments and check out the rest of the series So make sure y'all check out the other parts of this series. But anyway, back to this video. All right, so y'all saw we've been layering in the products. We are using the wide tooth comb a little bit now. Um, I probably will take my tangle teaser back out, but my hair is pretty much detangled. You know, it's just, it loves itself. I told y'all about that already. <laughs> Most products don't store well together. So this is just some advice, some old school advice. Put a little bit of that grease in the lid or put the product on the counter just to keep things from mixing up so much from you dipping your hand or things like that over and over. We are definitely going to have to focus on those old hairs and those new hairs. So we start with the roots and the ends. Bring those shoulders. Y'all getting a free workout. Yup, yup, yup. And you gotta start in the back if you want your braids or your twists to kind of lay right. Now, if you don't care, do what you want, sis. Live your life. Live your best life, please. But I'm doing two or three turns to braid the root and then I'm going straight into a twist. No, we don't normally cross hair over and things like that, but I'm doing that just so I can kind of maintain this style a little longer and just to kind of make sure the back of my hair is a little more tended to, you know? And yes, we are still twisting y'all, still twisting.
And of course, before I forget, let's talk about these twists. So if y'all have super shrinkage like me, I feel like completely dry my hair is probably 30 to 40 percent. I haven't worn a fro in a while, but the last time I did, my hair was barely touching my shoulders. Anywho, if y'all saw the length check, y'all know where it really is. But listen, if y'all want your twist to kind of like not shrivel up too much, try to not twist so tightly. So of course I'm going for a neat two strand rope type twist. I don't want the um, alternative plait like twist where it's a little more flat. So, you know, we try to twist and coil and turn and turn and twist and coil, you know, all those things. But just loosen that up a little bit. And that kind of helps you get that freedom to have a little more length, but still maintain that same look that we're going for. That juicy, juicy twist. I am dealing with sections as always. We don't no, we don't take all our hair out at once if we're styling it. Like, no, not over here. Not in these lazy natural streets. Not ever. <laughs> but anyway i'm just carefully gently going through it detangling and separating it and yeah to the finish hours later many hours later maybe not many but enough um just taking out your section and yeah so apply the products i kind of had to really detangle a little bit again because i detangled you know before i didn't actually detangle again after washing so it's probably still just more trap shedded hair coming out and then from those days my arms were tired those other days, so I didn't even push myself to finish doing my hair, but yeah. Another video. Thanks for watching. And hubby had to pop in. He just likes to photo bomb, video bomb, whatever y'all want to call it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Don't forget to meet me in the comments, like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later.